Guys, I'm really excited because the merch store is up. We what, have what? the Count of Monte Fisto, Carl Weathers shirt and hoodie and crew neck sweatshirt available. And we also have the busted Amin El Hassan jump shot that is taken over the internet. And Emily, you're saying that you have something, a story similar, which... Do you mean you've experienced I'm viral, bad de for you. viral decontextualization? Is that what you're saying? No. Viral decontextualization. <laughs> but I like the I, I like the label that you put on it. <laughs> no, literally, I uh, I touched a basketball for the first time in like a decade recently, and I jacked up an air ball and I got mocked for about five minutes by a child who could barely talk. But he knew to call an air ball and then to tell me that I was trashed to my face. <laughs> it was mortifying and I never want to touch a basketball again. Maybe there How is far was the, the jump generation. shot, though? And like, if you haven't touched a basketball in, in, in 10 years, why didn't you go for a layup first is what I want to know. Yeah. So I, I did. I did. I was like, I just so, feel like there's so many ways to avoid this situation from happening. Well, but if like, OK, so I started close. And then I moved back, right? And as I moved back, uh, things got jankier and jankier, basically. So yeah, but how far I, back is my question? Uh, the one I airballed, I want to say, was it wasn't even three point land; it was just inside the three point line. So pretty sad, pretty sad performance. Uh, I don't my. think I don't know. I don't think that that's sad for someone that hasn't shot for ten years. Like I don't work on range anymore. I can't shoot an NBA three right now. Like I used yeah, to be I, able to, but like I can't anymore. I haven't touched a basketball since the pandemic. I don't even know what it would look like just me dribbling right now. Like that's how <laughs> long it's well, been. No, so I dribbling, don't know. dribbling comes dribbling, back. Shooting, fast. all dribbling that stuff. is it like be, riding a bike. No, but there's no, a level no. of like you know, looking more fluid or whatnot. Like That's there's fair. a minute, yeah. there's a minute where it's going to be like, I mean, I mean it might I'm be not a saying it's like, impossible that you dribble the ball off your foot, but I'm just saying in general, when it comes to handles, like it's not like, like shot. It's like, that's not like a muscle that you use in any, any sort of everyday use whatsoever. Like in, unless you, I don't know, stock shelves, I guess. Like, that's the only thing I can think of where, like, those muscles will be put to use. But, like, if you don't do that, then, like, why would you have those muscles? Like, but, but for but handles, on. I think Hold it's on. the. Eden, it's like are you telling me that we have an untapped resource of shelf stalkers as future jump shooters? Should we be scouting every Maybe. grocery store to see who's, who's putting the, most the top stuff shelves? up? On the top yeah. shelves. Um, well, That's I frequently have to jump to get things off the top shelf. So does that count? That's like a rebound kind of practice, right? Maybe. But I mean, uh, re rebounding is you have me go to the grocery store and you have <laughs> me knock stuff off the top shelf. And then we you have to turn around and your reaction time you know, to jump okay. and, and get in position. Also, you know, you can box out grandma trying to get her pickled herring. You know, there's a, like the grocery store might be a hotbed for NBA training. It's, it's, the, the, only step around. it's the only thing that requires you to do this a lot. I can't think of any other job. I mean, but there's a lot of things you could do there. You know, Euro step in between the the grocery carts and and mm -hmm. and, and and navigating through people's mm -hmm. spin move, all self of that stuff. Out. I mean, self check, self check out. out right there. NBA you know, like ready this. skill set to to check you, out. You yourself. know, shoot your shoot your groceries into your bag. Like, there's a lot of stuff you could probably do. That's true. You could also like grab something off a shelf and pass it to your partner to put in the basket. Like, practice assists that way. Yeah, I'm not doing I mean, that, Emily. That's I, I not was more, thing. That's, I, that's just not I was not more my... asking if there were any other jobs that require you to yeah, constantly yeah, yeah. work. I was like, I, I, I was like, I don't know where y'all, y'all took this, but that's not where I was going. <laughs> Actually, you know excuse, what? Actually, uh, excuse, me, Eden. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It was our grocery store conversation. We were not you, fun you for you. Up? I was really yeah. confused for like two minutes. I was like, what are y'all? I was like, I thought we were talking about uh, y'all. I've been like in video editing land for like the last since 730 this morning. Like y'all don't want to know how many hours I've put into Premiere Pro this week. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Join, join the Tell hive mind. 
<laughs> no, like honestly, tell me about it. I'd love to hear about it. What are you working on? How's it going? What are your... So I'm actually doing my longest video yet. I was like, kind of like feeling frustrated because I've been working on this video for what feels like six weeks. And currently it stands at nine minutes. It's like a little over nine minutes, which I've like, most of my videos are like four minutes and under because they're just like product update videos. So this one just like has taken me way longer, but... I've also done, like like I said, I did my first After Effects animation. I did also, um, instead of reshooting an entire clip, I only reshot part of it and I used a layer mask instead also for the first time, which I like hadn't really done before. Um, so it's been a lot of editing and a lot of like, how do you do this in Premiere Pro? Because I was using a different video editor software for like <laughs> up until a year ago. And so I was like, I knew how to do everything in Wondershare. But then like once you switch to Premiere, it's like, I don't know where anything is. Um, but thank God for, for YouTube and thank God yeah. I'm finally going to finish this video today and never have to think about it ever again. Did you guys Nine. ever play around with that product in Premiere where you could do just the voice and movements in front of a camera and it would have like animated cartoons, like match up with what you were doing? No, I don't have a use space for that. So <laughs> like, so is it like no. deep faking you as a, as a we avatar? Uh, it was more like animals and, and monsters mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, kind of like a puppet type of... I mean, your phone I mean, can do this that, This was right? years ago. It was before... Snapchat can do it, yeah. It was before that was available. Yeah, it, was, it was about it was, like eight years gotcha. ago. Got gotcha. you. Yo, but yeah. the crazy thing now, though, is that those digital avatars are getting better and better. Like, my friend Beta did, like, a beta test for Wondershare, actually. Um, and the end product, I was actually, like, creeped out because I was like, if I didn't know your mannerisms and how you talk and how you express yourself on video, I might have actually thought this was just a video of someone talking. So... Mm -hmm. Zach, we're talking about, like, uh, AI, using using AI digital avatars... A digital Don't avatar say technology. AI to Zach. Don't bring up AI around yeah. Zach right now. Oh, I got a lot of chimpanzee image text Same. messages last oh. week. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're not what? saved on your camera roll, like Zach. Is Zach's it camera like roll Zach's whole camera roll? It's the entire thing. Yeah. It's, the entire thing. <laughs> it's it's two I... pictures of Boogie and forty seven <laughs> pictures of chimpanzees mm -hmm. writing when they're supposed to be asleep. Mm -hmm. Actually, just just to take it back really quick, the only reason why I decided to touch a basketball again was because mm -hmm. I watched Jennifer Hudson in the All Star Celebrity Basketball Tournament and was utterly horrified at the way that she handled a basketball. And I was like, I have to prove to myself that I'm still better than Jennifer Hudson at handling a basketball. I, I thought you were just training for the next time you're on a celebrity uh, <laughs> basketball game. You said, I'm not going to look as bad as Jennifer Hudson. I thought that was your, where we were going with that. It's I don't weird. think anybody she, uh, would ask to do that. It's weird because Jennifer Hudson um, trained with uh, famous Instagram trainer, yeah. Lisa Shooter, and didn't look like she knew how to play basketball. Weird. No. It's almost, almost like, like these... almost like he's a fraud. It's almost like, well, maybe, well, you know what? I, I, I didn't watch, I didn't watch Instagram. Celebrity, I didn't watch the celebrity game. Um, was there a point where the baskets had like buzz saws going around it? So if you missed, then the ball was punctured. Was that because maybe Jennifer <laughs> Hudson was prepared for that? <laughs> that's that's what she, I call. She shooting. got in there. Where's the ring of fire? Where's <laughs> the, the buzzsaws uh, were in her mind, Zach? <laughs> that's the training. You got to get the buzzsaws in your mind. There's where's where's the crocodile pit? Yeah. <laughs> around the hoop, like all of God, those things. This guy. Let me tell you. So, so there's two things. There's that, and then there's also Zach's developing relationship with the AI. That there's a show out oh, now called Three Body Problem. Have you guys heard of this yet? I, I just finished, I literally just heard about it last night. Finished it. It's, it's been okay. this, they just remade another Asian show. Yes, like yes, this has, did, it's been yes, released in in Chinese, in Korean. Yep. Like this is this is I just like hate how Netflix just does this and like they present everything as own oh, original content, blah blah blah. And I'm like, none of this is original. None of it is. I'm not watching it. Sorry, I'm just not. Well, Netflix needs to get rid of that colonialism mindset. Yeah. Is all I have to say. I hear you, Eden. Or I really you. dive into it, you know? You can't do dating shows yeah. and colonialism. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Hold on, I need to process that sentence. Can you say it one more time? Colonialism <laughs> dating shows? It's that no, exists. It's, it's not it's, enough sex appeal. It's, it's not okay, enough sex appeal. I'm just, I'm just trying to, you yeah. know, let's just see if we can come up with something. Eden, you want me to repeat what I said. <laughs> I don't remember what I said. I don't know what words came out of my mouth. I just talked and the sentence ended at one point. I know that. That's fine. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I'm okay, not sure it was so, an actual sentence that needed. So Eden <laughs> is protesting it because it's a remake of a Chinese. And it's not better. Show. It's not better than the Chinese or the Korean version. I already know without watching it. Is Chinese Emily TV said, as good as like Korean TV or is like up there? It's so, it's it's hit or miss. It's very hit okay. or miss. Yeah, Koreans own it because they put the government puts a lot of money into South Korean yeah. entertainment. Like China doesn't care. Japan doesn't Anytime, care. We've watched Korean or talk about Korean stuff, and I've gone and watched it. Like it is high production value. It's yeah. spectacular. Like yeah. Dexter, the I Dexter Studios owns everybody when it comes to special effects, like mm. across the like Hollywood, Western world, whatever. Like no one does effects better than Dexter Studios. Yeah, it's their main export. Korea, like entertainment, is now their main export. But I mean, I really, I I enjoyed it. It was very good, mindless entertainment for a Sunday. Hangover I mean, I'm okay. I'm anti binge. I've been anti binge for a long time because I just feel an insane amount of pressure to watch all of it. Uh -huh. I, I've watched three. I am enjoying it. It is starting to waver a little bit, but when when Zach was talking to the AI and he called the AI out and said, <laughs> oh, yeah. "Why are you obsessed yeah. with chimps writing? None obsessed of these chimps are with sleeping." Chimps writing. You started at, you started asking prompts that had nothing to do with writing, and <laughs> all, all right. of a sudden the chimp is still writing. Yo, my and favorite one that I was cracking. I'm legit. Like I no, I was like dying laughing. Zach, like my was like stomach hurting. Was when you said, "Show me any chimp not writing." Immediately, another chimp writing. Pencil, I was just like, doing oh my god. a crossword puzzle oh my god. or some shit. Th this yeah. is and that's why I said you're obsessed with chimps holding pens, and then it <laughs> responds. <laughs> You're yeah. right. It's it's a uh, it's a clear yeah, sign. Zach, of, you? Zach, your your AI yeah. might try to kill you. So I said you're obsessed with chimps holding pens because yeah. it had been mm -hmm. like six picks at that point where I'm like, I show me a tired chimp. What is <laughs> a tired <laughs> chimp? Right? Ha ha! You're right. I guess I got a little carried away with the writing theme. I'll make sure to mix it up more in the future. Thanks for keeping me in check. Here, let me try again. Chimp emoji Z emoji. A chimp relaxing in a hammock, no pen in sight, but then didn't send the picture. So I said, show me. And then it sent me a picture of a chimp in a hammock. Show me. It's really, it's really scary because that's exactly how I heard it in my head when I was reading. <laughs> I just heard Zach go, show me. <laughs> yeah, show me. Reveal yourself. Like what, are you, like, what are you doing? Come on. Prove it's, it. <laughs> my favorite was the ha ha, you're right. Like, <laughs> Just, oh, I hate that. I like hate getting hit with a ha, ha Hit me with an LOL or hit me with a laughing emoji. Do never hit me with a ha ha. I, I, well, I, the I, fact I, that it's your, the AI that said that is the one yeah, cracked me up. Your like, AI is planning hell? to kill you. Your AI is coming for you. Oh, your no, Instagram AI. All, are you all of them are. All of them are coming going for all of them. To attack me. This oh. specific one is the the one assigned to Zach, though. Like we don't know which one's going to get the four Does of us. Does it know yet. that you're a writer? Is that why it kept making the chimp no. writing? I just, so I just no, asked it, are you going to it attack me? That. No, I'm just a friendly AI assistant. I'm here to help and assist you, not to harm or attack you. I'm just a computer program designed That's to provide information and answer questions to the best of my ability. I don't have the capability to physically harm anyone or engage in any kind of aggressive behavior. I'm here to help and learn from you. So feel free to ask me anything. Robot emoji, laptop emoji. We've seen science fiction movies before. It's your I'm AI say that, is lying to you. But, yeah. but I've seen... That's exactly what an AI would say right before it kills you. Also, yep. what it made me think of, Emily, was Zach just reached level two. He yeah. solved the first level of the AI game, and now he's moved on to level two, and now it's engaging with him in conversation. And it's, it's like, and it's only a matter right. of time before Zach is selected as the to go to a secret meeting with the AI and probably some yeah. chimps. And then it's only a matter of time before he is fully indoctrinated in whatever meta AI cult is happening through Instagram. I feel like they would invite him to an event that would have chimps at it. That's how they would get That's him to go. That's how they get me, yeah. I love yeah. chimps. What do you want and me to then, do? 
Yeah, and then oh, uh, they take over his his body. They hack into him, and he becomes a living AI. That would be okay. Would be my this plot is getting twist. this is getting weird. Yeah, boy. Now it's getting weird. I said, but I've seen science fiction movies before that have this. I understand. Yes, science fiction movies and TV shows often explore the idea of AI systems becoming self-aware and potentially dangerous. But don't worry, I'm just a language model designed to assist and communicate with humans, not to take over the world. Smiley face. My purpose is to help answer questions, provide information, make tasks easier for you, not to harm or threaten anyone. So no need to worry about me turning into a rogue AI just yet. Just yet. yet. I said, that's exactly what a nefarious AI would say. You understand my concern, yes? Ha! Good point. I suppose it's natural to have some skepticism when it comes to AI, especially given the portrayals in media. But I assure you, I'm just a benign language model designed to help and assist, blah, blah, blah. My creators have implemented various safeguards and ethical guidelines to ensure I'm used responsibly and for the greater good. So no need to worry about me turning into a rogue AI, dot, 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 at least just yet, wink emoji. It's coming! Just got chills. You're you just, just got, got hit with the. You got hit with the end of the Amin hype video. End. We're not dangerous yet. Welcome to the Friday Mailbag. It's Friday. We got Eden, Emily, Zach, and M. M. Dekeel on the show with us today. We got a bunch of questions. We got so many questions. Oh man, we got a lot of questions. So. Bardfield asks, what's your best preferred seltzer brand, alcoholic and non-alcoholic? And if you want to get spicy, choose a flavor. Now Topo I'm well, Chico grapefruit. Yes. My position on this is well established. I'm a Topo Chico man, non-alcoholic. Yeah. And We're I non-alcoholic. like the lime one. And I've had the grapefruit one. It's harder to find, but I've, I've yeah. gotten some and I've had it. It's not quite as strong of a flavor as the lime. It's still I will good say also the Topo Chico, it's only good in the glass bottle. I've had it in plastic Correct. and it's not good. Like something about like it must be whatever carbonation I think they use. Tastes better in a glass bottle. Yeah. So I think it's because but there are some that are closer. Sure. Like, you know, I just I it's, it definitely has to do with the the chemistry of like sodium bicarbonate or whichever calcium, whatever they use in Chopo Chico. It's a jarring difference for Chopo Chico. Like some, like, you know, like Sprite, I feel like, yes, it's better out of a glass bottle, but like can plastic bottle or like it's kind of negatable. But like Chopo Chico, I was like surprised at how bad it was. So that's, that's my Chopo Chico analysis. I like, I like Waterloo. I'm a Waterloo gal, but, um, one thing that people have really been pushing on me lately, have you guys had poppy? I've, I've um, seen yeah, it I don't like it as much as culture pop, but I like it's very it's like the same similar concept of the probiotic with like less sugar and like just generally healthier, I guess. Yeah, people people who like it are just obsessed with it. And I've tried it. I think it's because it has apple cider vinegar in it and that's a taste that I just absolutely cannot handle. Even though, like, I still drink it sometimes. Or health all of the flavors, it's a weird, or is it's there a specific weird flavor? Taste, yeah, it is right. It tastes like stinky feet, huh? <laughs> it tastes stinky like feet, huh? stinky feet. Yeah, stinky like feet, if you huh? smell stinky feet, it like kind of like you can imagine what that tastes like. Yeah. That's what I feel like apple cider vinegar tastes like, like stinky okay. feet, right? Are there people like housing apple cider vinegar for like health reasons? Yeah. 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 I do it once in a while just to make myself feel like Get I'm doing yourself. something. <laughs> Get over yourself. Come it's on. horrible. Yeah. I also don't like don't, alcoholic seltzers. I don't. At yeah. all? I like high I mean, news tequila seltzer. That one's I mean, like, oh, I'd rather no. have, like, I'd rather have, rather have, like, a beer. It's got a like, weird aftertaste. Yeah, I'm good with just, like, like, give me a White Claw. Like, because everything else, and even White Claws have this, but everything else to me just has a weird aftertaste, but White Claw is the one I'm used to the most. Yeah. Well, yeah, like that oh, high noon stuff. You're like, used to the, oh, the weird aftertaste already, so with that's a, why with you a White Claw. It. Yeah. With a White Claw, yeah. And I, and I only like a couple of flavors. Like, I'm not like, oh, yeah, any flavors. Fun. Like, I only like a couple of flavors, but 
Um, but yeah, all those like seltzers, those alcoholic seltzers, like all oh, have such a weird aftertaste. I guess you're so supposed you, to just keep drinking. I exclusively drink beer? Sunny D seltzers. That's how I get down. <laughs> that is not real. I have never seen that before. Come on, Eden. Check them out. Check them out. It's real. Don't make me do this. Look them up. I'm, if I see it again, I'll get I'll get it and I'll I'll try it. Well, I'll go. I'm, and okay. Friday mailbag activity. Everybody go get a Sunny D vodka seltzer and we will all drink them on the mailbag together as a family. I'm down. Post, I just I genuinely the, I just looked up post the Ramadan packaging. For Mo. And there I just definitely I, I actually Sunny don't D think seltzer, I've seen it right? before. Yeah. And, so and can I switch it to the uh uh what's his name? Uh Bar Rescue guys uh seltzer? Oh. Taffer has a Be seltzer? Taffer's Be It was a Right, the bar rescue guys seltzer. It is Taffer. I can't remember his name. Oh <laughs> man! Sel- <laughs> oh boy! Oh man! Oh no! <laughs> oh, he's got oh, everything. Oh no! Look at that sparkling face. Sparkling craft cocktails. Look at this man's face. That why is was not that? Why what was that? Picture? Why is that the press picture? Like, who <laughs> on the team released Maze, that image? Maze, please put that in the here's the science chat. Okay, please. I need, I just need, please. <laughs> Pineapple coconut. No. Yeah. How is that your main flavor? What, Those what, are three what weird flavors, it? man. I'm not, I'm Bro maybe, Bible. I, Bro I think Bible. I'm a no dill on all three of those. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I would like them as like freshly made drinks, not in a fucking can that's been processed like that. What if I told you that a man with no neck is going to do duck lips next to it? Does that sell it for you? <laughs> He's obviously wearing makeup. Yeah, of course. Go back to that picture. He Put is with- obviously <laughs> like there's contouring. Like you can see it. There's contouring. I'm with Eden. Why did they pick that picture? This I just want to know who on the team approved it that were like, yep, this is the one we should send along with the brand kit to get this published isn't everywhere. This is like, oh, he's got some TV makeup on. Yeah. There was contouring <laughs> on those cheekbones. I'm telling you. It looks look like at his eyebrows are painted on. A hundred percent they're painted on. The one on the right, so his left eyebrow is twice as thick as his other eyebrow. <laughs> it's wild. That's an actual caterpillar. That's <laughs> that, his 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 pocket square. We please please What the fuck just, is going on with the pocket square? Yo, Look, the funny thing is, is he definitely got someone that has no idea how to do makeup for like shooting to like do his makeup because that's what it looks like is that someone like tried to do his makeup without considering that you have to do makeup differently for taking pictures and videos than like right. when you're just doing like doing makeup for in person or or someone edited this photo using microsoft paint afterwards <laughs> yeah also check out the pocket square can we please just leave the leave this photo up i know this is an audio media mostly but please leave this photo up just for when katie comes on i just want this up <laughs> or just a few minutes yeah good timing <laughs> we were just waiting for you katie i have arrived <laughs> Okay, hold on. Wait a second. Wait, wait just a second here, and boom. How about that? How does that make you feel? Oh, no. uh, now one I'm of his eyebrows is still significantly one is arched. Yes. And well, one, why did why did they draw one arch and not the other? This is the same day, obviously, same pocket yeah. square, which yeah, is just like pocket. a crumpled up sock. Which is not actually a square. Yeah, it looks like yeah. It's pretty sloppy. What the fuck is that? But here he has here he has his drink mixes: margarita, Cosmo, margarita, strawberry, pina colada, bloody mary, mojito, and skinny Rita. And these Those are all from the. Awful. Is this real or AI? Taffer's mixologist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. question Katie. Valid question I with, with don't our know. podcast these days. Yeah, I got another question on his suit. What's this light blue part of his lapel? Like completely different color than the. Oh God. That's a good question. Oh, like, it's part of his. Uh, like I can low, see it because like I can see badge, in the first photo. Like it's part mask. of the. Um, <laughs> I mean, um, a, like lapel? a brooch, the like a brooch collar. or something. It's a report. Sh- <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no. I'm looking different. Mo, yeah, it looks different from there. 
he also is yeah. waiting for the end of Ramadan to to get in on this Taffers. They sell it in seltzer. South Florida. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, wait, is so, it just released or something? Is that why? So like, we will celebrate the end of Ramadan as a family <laughs> with either Taffers, Mixologist, Seltzers, or Sunny D Seltzer, your choice. That is a decision I leave up to you, but we will drink it together at 10 a.m. Some of us will drink it at 10 a.m. <laughs> I will drink. I will drink a disgusting basil strawberry Ugh. taffer seltzer. They all all the flavors my, sound terrible. My bagel that I have the, co- in the, the pineapple coconut one Toasted is taffer. just um Toasted is taffer. just like a Malibu and rum, right? Like yeah. that's what they're just Got trying it. to yeah. recreate. But yeah. I don't see yeah. it being Malibu good rum. in seltzer form. Like no, I feel like it's no always rum. like that fake Indeed. coconut flavor that tastes like sunscreen. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I just Ads. know every time in the new ep- the new season, every time he opens up a bar, it's like, and I gave you guys an unlimited supply of <laughs> yeah, seltzer. He can't fucking sell them, yeah, so he's just gonna exactly. give it away. That's why I laugh. Tap on the tap. Que- the question is, what you're gonna do with the rest of it after you drink one? Like, who who do you bequeath that to? <laughs> Pour it out. <laughs> I wouldn't put that on anybody. Or just give it to Zach. Put it, put it in like the community community fridge. Like if if y'all have those, like where you can just like put stuff that you. Like, oh, you, you have don't want. to, yeah. Skull bucket asks if your ghost had to be dressed how you died for eternity. Oh. what would you put on before you kick it? Adidas tracksuit. Yeah, sweatpants. What yeah, color, sweats. Katie? Black. You'd for your own funeral. I was thinking hot pink. I thought you that's, were uh, pink. Ma- Maze, let's isolate that sound and just have that on the soundboard. God damn. Five dudes. Oh my God. Five dicks. Damn. Black. Yeah. Black. yeah. <laughs> um, man, I don't know. Throwback jersey, baggy ass shorts. Just Which always looks like I'm ready to hoop. Uh, now, are, AFP, can you become AFP was doing some funny. AFP was, was doing some that, funny Katie. jokes. Yeah. About how uh, they were going to bring back the throwback jersey trend, and David was going to rock Ian's like rec center. Oh yeah. <laughs> throwback jersey. You have to. You have to. <laughs> um, what if I just wore I, an Adam Banks Mighty Ducks oh, jersey? I'm perfect. And some shorts. They have to have those. Yeah. Well, I saw. I sent do. you guys. I saw. I think it's just the Charlie one. I think they just have Charlie Conway. But they had a Ducks jersey at a Lids next to. Mm. It was like a cinephobe like State of the Union. It was like semi pro, Mighty Ducks, and one other one that we've done. And they had all the jerseys there together. Basketball. Um. But baseball, would, yeah. okay. Would you wear like a hat? Ooh, so can you be like if you a hat forever? Are you yeah. comfortable Actually, regardless of your outfit as a uh, ghost? That's what I was thinking, Katie. I feel like, like can you your are pants be too tight yeah. or like can something I be scratchy. I feel like you don't feel because you don't have a corporal body, right? So you won't feel it. It can be your most uncomfortable outfit, but you won't feel uncomfortable even if it looks yeah. good. That I feel like that makes sense. Am I haunting people? Because if I'm haunting people, then I'm going to wear oh, something either. Good question. Good question. Mm. Am, I, am, I, yeah. am I haunting yeah, I an, like, an, an enemy? Or am I like just showing up with friends to be like, hey, what's up? No, you no. Know, but like the point different... is you have to pick an outfit that encompasses all of the possible yeah, situations like you said, want to haunt. Mighty Ducks throwback jersey. I, th- I don't think you guys have described <laughs> a situation t-shirt. that it doesn't apply to. <laughs> I'm going. I'm, no, I'm going I like old to school. My I'm head going and wearing a tuxedo t-shirt. <laughs> I'm going like full, like long night shirt, night cap, and I'm holding a candle. Nice, nice. Yeah. With, with, with the fluffy hat, yeah, uh-huh. fluffy hat yeah. type yeah. of uh, yeah. straight up, straight up, straight up Zach Scrooge. That's what about that's what we're seeing. What about a blankie and or a stuffed animal, <laughs> like a teddy bear? Like wearing, I wouldn't wearing like a teddy bear. Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> and do you, do you actually have to hold it or is it just like kind of a, if you're a ghost I'm like gonna it's put like, it down like I'm gonna put it down you know well I'm thinking if you're a ghost it just, that he's it just like he's sticks on like you the... wherever you go you don't actually even have to hold it is I feel like you could still well, have it probably doesn't even feel like I'm holding it right yeah that's true yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Huh. Interesting. I do I need to send you guys my ghost similar. picture. <laughs> oh yes, with the long-awaited yeah. ghost picture. Um, I'm going the same as May's route, except I'm going. Um, I'm channeling my retired hype beast tendencies, and I have like my favorite mastermind Japan jersey. That that that's the one that I would want to be in for the rest of my life. I think because I way overpaid not full for it. Call of Duty. Uh... <laughs> Did you ever get that jacket? Remember, remember when the Bell House tried to someone tried to steal your jacket? Yeah, we some security back, right? guard. We got it back. Okay, it was a good. whole right. saga. Yeah, Nobody was... could find the jacket the night of. Nobody could find it, but it magically mm-hmm. appeared after yeah. like n- 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 everyone would not stop harassing them, and then I could yeah. go pick it up the next day. Magically, they found it. Was it. An expensive yeah. jacket, right? It was. It was a. It yeah. was a five five hundred dollar hoodie. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Mo I think I remember the story of Spape, right? Or something like that. Yeah, I, 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 like I said, retired hype beast. I have a lot of timeless pieces that I spent way too much money on in my 20s. Luckily, I got oversized stuff that still fits. And, um, but yeah, my mastermind Japan jersey and definitely like some comfortable jogger pants or something. Probably like my favorite Nike joggers just because they're so comfortable and they fit perfectly, slim cut, go with everything. Um, yeah. I'm changing my answer. If I'm, if then I'm I think haunting, I'd do combat boots instead of sneakers. Oh uh, yeah, that is those mm-hmm. look cute with everything. And in case you need to kick someone, yeah, I'm changing my answer. If That's I'm haunting people, you. I'm going straight up katana Halloween mm. costume <laughs> with like the swords and everything. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you can either get like really great, excited, nerdy responses, or like terrified, this ghost is going to cut my head off responses. And if I, it's not a comfort thing, I don't have to go pee or anything. Do you feel like you're maybe leaving yourself open to people challenging you to Street Fighter fights that, for that all would eternity? Be great. You're in I would highly, okay. I would enjoy yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. eternity. I'm, Katana is Mortal Kombat. It's true. I'm aware that I said, I was just trying to think of like a, okay, sorry, Eden. Jesus. <laughs> like, she was so offended. So offended. <laughs> Zach came if back, I'm... left immediately. Came back, left immediately. Mo dropped in a, a Banks Mighty Ducks strategy. Thank you, Mo. Thirty five dollars seems too Not cheap. Bad. That's Is probably that too cheaply cheap? Made. Right? It, it might be, but you know. Um, but still, you could get a better uh, one off of AliExpress for like even cheaper. All I'm saying, I like, just googled it, and the first thing that came up was on Amazon, Maze's favorite uh, place to shop. Yeah, I don't um, know how I'll get it. Maybe I'll throw it in with my know, cage. But... You know. Yeah, so if I'm but if I'm going for comfort as a ghost, I'm probably just doing Lululemon shorts and a, a long sleeve uh, shirt with a hoodie. If I'm going to just be like kind of creepy as a ghost, I think I'm just going full tuxedo. Mm. Yeah. No, you can yeah. only pick one outfit, Mo. Come on. I'm yeah, saying exactly. if I'm going for if comfort, I get to do this, well, what are you going for? <laughs> what, yeah. How many of you guys know? What do you Make guys know about the afterlife? Maybe we have a wardrobe. We don't know. Maybe we have a closet. Everybody's wrong. The answer is the Amin busted jump shot hoodie, no pants. Mm. That's the only outfit. <laughs> no to pants. Go the yeah, you know I'm good. <laughs> Winnie the poo? Yep. I wanna <laughs> I wanna winnie it up all the way through the rest that of the That would be the actually if you're haunting a full someone. naked ghost would be Winnie Cooper. <laughs> that actually would be <laughs> really, really, really <laughs> terrifying. Like I would not want to be haunted or I would not want to be anywhere around a naked ghost just because like you gotta wonder why the, they're naked. The movie where the girl would like stuck her head out the window and got decapitated. Death proof? Final destination. That sounds like no a final it was like it had um yeah, it sounds I think, like final destination. That's why I said it. <laughs> it was like a scary movie. No. That was peace. <laughs> <laughs> was well, it yeah, 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 this is of the pants or whatever uh the traveling no it's like a, it's like a scary movie and the, this girl little girl goes to a party with her older brother oh hereditary hereditary yeah, Aren't oh, they, don't, yeah. They mm. don't they have naked ghosts don't they have maybe ghosts? Uh, i would yeah. like to be high when i watch that movie to remember you watch? They... that's crazy eden yeah. <laughs> that was a scary movie yeah was do they show up naked one. on the teslas in the Tesla radar, are they naked? Mm-hmm. Do we know? Like, doesn't question. matter what outfit you're wearing, Mo. You'll still end up naked on the Teslas. That's the problem. Five ghost That sticks? is a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Katie, this photo is scary. But how do you know that's not just a white woman? Um, because you can see through her. Scary. That's a good question. Okay, so so this. 
picture I sent, that was something that my friend, it's from my friend, her dad sent it to like their family group chat to show like from the outside, right. like one of the lights inside is out or something. And they're like, who's in your house? And he's like, nobody. Like, what are you talking about? And they're like, there's a person in there. Oh, that's and, creepy as hell. Oh, so that's and their their up uh, their unit, and it's supposed to be yes. empty. Yes. No yeah, one else is home. This, and, working on oh, this yeah. to bring it and up. And it's a live photo. It is yeah. live, and she's moving. So and it's oh, real creepy. And if you zoom in, well, she is it's a dead photo. That's a ghost. That is a, it's scary, a dead photo. That is a scary look. That's. Tell me that isn't creepy as fuck. It's it just is. a reflection. It, but it could just be a white. There's, no, there's nothing to see here. Okay. Oh, you're an idiot. I, I was thinking, you know, <laughs> maybe someone somehow, like, you know, has an extra. Maybe they used to live in that unit and they kept the keys, and you know, they uh, come sometimes go in and take stuff out of the fridge because isn't this that bitch what is transparent? The reflection. <sighs> can you yeah, can no, you do the crazy. live photo on here? I want to uh, see this bitch knows. No, I can like try to. Mm pause it at a different time but um no that's uh so how does this keep happening katie or did you like put this out <laughs> into the universe that you were interested in live photos of so i was questions. i was telling people at work about the the lady behind the other lady the that we had lady. discussed previously the one who had a shadow and someone goes oh have you ever heard cc's ghost story and i'm like no and they're like you gotta check this shit out CC's. i'm okay Married more. All right. Okay. I think that one, that one definitely is open. more ghost like than the other ones. The other, yeah. the cat one, for sure. Well, the way and the way she moves and just like everything about her, her eyes. Ugh. It's almost like she kind of like, oh shit, they caught me. She's like, oh fuck. Or like, what are you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> now it is time for our underdog fantasy. Combination of the day. You go to underdogfantasy.com, promo code DING, D I N G, or you can do the Underdog Fantasy app. So, Eden, they have given us a bracket buster. You got to get this in before 1 Eastern. So, this might not be available for you by the time you hear this. Hopefully, I can step on it and get this out. 140, yeah. Victor Wembenyama <laughs> has to get higher than 0.5 points. Will he do it? Check. I think he will. Check. So yes. Plug that one in. And then Zach has, have the Rockets been playing well? Uh, not Insane. only have they been playing well, they've won 10 straight. They've won 10 straight games. They're going up against Utah, the illustrious jazz Worst defense in NBA yeah. history. That's because it's the it's the game with the highest uh, total points tonight too. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. So, and Jalen Green has been blistering hot. He's shooting fifty. He's shooting forty nine percent from three. He's averaging thirty four point six points over his last five games. I am taking Jalen Green higher than twenty seven point five points. He for just sure torched higher. the Jazz for forty one points. In 33 minutes last week, I believe he will do it again. Also in that game, Lowry Markinen, great scorer for the Jazz. Their leading scorer, not the Whoa. most prolific rebounder. Yeah. Not really big <laughs> on the boards. Whoa. He's like, okay, but it's like he he doesn't get break yeah. 10 that many. Like, last, I feel like, yeah. Last it's like a five lot of settings. games, 5.3 rebounds per game. So mm. yeah. I already did this earlier this week. I'm going back to it. It's Lowry Markinen lower than 0. 0.5 double doubles. And then see, I thought that I thought that was the last. I wasn't expecting this Lowry Markinen one. I thought that like the Jalen Green one was the only thing you were doing. I didn't know you were uh, not finish. Oh, God. Oh, I knew it was going to be when he oh, grabs the mic oh, oh, and pulls oh, it in a little bit closer. You just know Zach. it's going to be awful, oh. right? It's the you know. He's from Finland. Gosh, gosh. Oh my god! I awful. That is also a man that looks like a ghost. By the way, just saying. Mm -hmm. 
What's I he thought there was no way you were gonna land that plane. No, oh, no, no man. <laughs> I hate both of you. Oh man, I hate how much I love that. I okay. truly hate it. So really now you know. It maybe Victor <laughs> Webanyama isn't there for you. So we need a third player. We're gonna go to the Minnesota at Denver game. This is a big mm, game. We are talking game. about one seeds. Zach wrote about this in the newsletter for the bounce on the athletic this morning. And I'm looking at Anthony Edwards, of course, because when you think of the Timberwolves, you got to think of the Ant-Man. And he's averaging 7.4 boards and 6.8 assists in his last five games. He's having to do even more with Towns and it's out. Against, against Joker, too. Against the Joker. So I am taking Anthony Edwards higher then 10 combined rebounds and assists. Yeah. That is your underdog fantasy combination for Friday. What's the over under on Kelly Oubre Jr. calling everybody a bitch again? <laughs> Let me check underdog fantasy real quick. He doesn't, he doesn't quick. want the fines. Set the number what? at one and a half. <laughs> Here's the thing. I love it. <laughs> Buddy, you're getting fined, right? You've already done the action. Katie's being attacked over there. Uh, you're already doing, you're already doing, you've already, you've already <laughs> attacked verbally the referees. And then in the post game, he's trying to save money here. Oh, you know, I lost my cool. No, man, lean into it. Yeah. yeah. You, no, it's you get the $25,000 fine. Yeah. Oh, you know. yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't want the walk it back. That's no fun. By the way, no by the way you were wrong. The foul, there was no foul. Oh, there might be foul. Please. The play earlier or two, Paul George got shoved pretty good too on a drive, and they didn't call the foul. At least yeah. it was consistent. <laughs> also, the, also, any contact that happened was kind of after the buzzer. So you were late. You mismanaged your time, Kelly. You have nice eyes, though. He has nice legs. <laughs> if I could have like any NBA player's legs, it would be Kelly Oubre Jr.'s. Too leg. tall for you. I could make it work. I could make it work. <laughs> That would be, uh, yeah, that would be an even more drastic leg to torso ratio than me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Sure would. <laughs> I'm what is your leg pushing... to torso ratio? It's like two thirds or something. It's stupid. Wow. It is, <laughs> which is which? It is truly terrifying. <laughs> uh, I kind of really. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a really short torso. He <laughs> Short Ooh, yep. It's. <laughs> It's uh, you know, I think I think Get my him. legs, I think I have the legs of a six nine person. I think, I think that's about how it works out. Like an and like if six, they were seven? proportional. Yes. Are they like straight straight or do they? Is there any bone? Are they gay there? legs? No. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Yeah. Emily wants to know if you have gay legs. My legs don't like to be pinned down. Okay, or They're half gay. <laughs> I realize how that sounds. They are fluid, okay? They're not going to be restricted to being straight, straight, or not. Fluid. <laughs> My legs are just <laughs> Captain Trips asks... I can see the gears going in his head. <laughs> I'm waiting for him okay, to I'm grab let, the I'm mic. Let, <laughs> What's it going to be? I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Captain Trips asks, if you had to become... A character in a sitcom and live the rest of your life in the world of that TV series following the established mm. rules and structures of that show. Who and what show would you choose and why? He thinks he'd choose Newman from Seinfeld. No, because then you're, you're like delivering mail all the time. Why? Yeah. If you're picking anybody on that show, you would, would, wouldn't you want to be George? <laughs> I, I want to be our, yeah. our <laughs> What? <laughs> have you seen <laughs> Seinfeld? <laughs> yes, George is still the best. You want to be Jerry? He has Jerry the worst is the only life. one you want to be. Jerry's, Jerry's doing a new, a new hot girl deal? every week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. George and Marissa Tomei interested in him. <laughs> For two minutes, <laughs> and the rest of his life is fucking torture. You've never watched great. Seinfeld. It's this is insane. Minutes. Tell me you watched Seinfeld. No, tell, tell me you've never watched Seinfeld without telling yeah. me you've never watched Seinfeld. Either that it's or great. most just a masochist. <laughs> Who's rich in a sitcom and doesn't have to do anything? 
Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah. We're already, we're already <laughs> in that world. <laughs> Never Eddie once has a Roy's. money problem. You want to be yeah. Roman oh, Roy, um, Katie? You want to be Shiv not Roy? It's not a sick. Hillary from <laughs> Fresh Prince. <laughs> Oh, okay, now we're talking. Yeah, that's a good one. Hot. Wait, who? Who is it? <laughs> Hillary, Hillary from Fresh Prince. What about there's oh, trauma there though? Remember when her so I was confused. I was like, when Trevor died, bungee jumping. Um, yeah, Pro- was he proposing when he when he died? Yeah. Yeah. Hillary yeah. Banks, yeah. will you? Make- <laughs> and then somebody mm-hmm. goes like, I don't think he's supposed to bounce like that. Larry <laughs> David, and Curb. No, no, no. he's listening to Torture Love too. Conan in the last episode of Curb. I'd oh my god, that was so good, so good. So Do you have clearance for this um, conversation, Zach? You didn't get clearance. No clearance. clearance. No clearance. Um, I'm we'll going. Talk to Lewis. Um, I'm Lucy Oh, going... Lewis. oh <laughs> that's the one. Are you nice. Yeah. Go yeah. see a Star War. Yeah. yeah. It's one banana. What could it cost? Ten dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna just go... drinking all day, fucking identical twins. Let's go. Alf. <laughs> you're high, Alf. you're drunk. Alf. 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 The... Alf or, or Norm oh, from no. Cheers. Okay. You mean Alf the alien? No, Alf Alf the Senator. Yeah, Alf the alien. Yeah, what do you <laughs> So you, you wanna eat cat you wanna eat cats? What other uh, he never actually eats a cat, he just wants to eat a cat. He, he... That's that's his diet. He actually eats cats. He want, he never does it on the show though. He has a history of eating cats, but he doesn't yeah. do it on the show. It would be creepy if on the show he comes in like the shot one time and has a bone as a pick or something like you know. He should have. They should do like a scary elf. Yeah, elf could be really scary if yeah if you they do really... it with Winnie the Pooh. Obviously, True. been watching yeah. a lot of Thirty yeah. Rock. 30 Did you Rock watch lately. that? No. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Oh, Thirty Rock. Oh. Does anyone Thirty do elf Rocky. on the shelf? Alf on, Alf on I would shelf. do that if I had kids. Alf on the shelf. <laughs> Alf on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tracy Jordan would probably be like, I don't think I could be as ridiculous as him. Existence, but he's That's a wild existence, man. wild existence. I'm at the part That's where exhausting. he has the, the porn video game that he's <laughs> made a, like $60 million off of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he combined his two favorite things into one. Um, I've always kind of like I've always identified with Liz Lemon, but I don't want to necessarily be her. No, I don't think you want to yeah, be. Yeah, she's Liz got Lemon. too much yeah. stuff to deal with. What about um, Doctor Spichemin? <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> diagnose different. people all day and <laughs> say absurd shit. That could be fun. Uh, I would be maybe like one of the characters from a different world, possibly. Oh, but then you're in school. Yeah, you but gotta it's do college. Class. You got to do class. College is easy compared to real life. Like, I would never pick yeah. anybody from the office because. Well, they're all Ooh. miserable. The office is miserable. But you could yeah. pick some, one of the warehouse guys that won the lottery. <sighs> I think yeah, it'd be kind of dope to be Daryl. Flavored energy yeah, drinks. Exactly, Daryl. And then if yeah. you know, and then Zach, you know, you could end up uh, going to the Sloan conference and shit like they do in those terrible seasons that no one watched. God, that last. Man, Jim are starting God. a sports company after what working in a pizza warehouse for years. What does that even mean? <laughs> um, I do like the idea of being Norm from Cheers. Yeah, he had a good life. That's a good he one. A good, no, he just showed up after work. No one knew what he did. He just he sat at the same spot. Didn't have to order Did his they? beer. Like it was there for him. I could also be Blanche. I could do. You know that would be Ooh, a fine line. I watched. Yes. That's good. Did they I'm just not even know who that for? is. Pretending like I know who that was, is. But Blanche didn't Golden get it. Girls. Though, Katie. Oh, what? Golden Girls. Never seen an episode. You wouldn't choose Rose. Oh, it's so good. Blanche got no, it I all wanna, the time. Yeah, I'm. I'm a. I'm fucking. I'm Blanche. I'm out here. Blanche was. I watch this every day when I go to visit my mom. This is. A, a, oh wait, Blanche. Blanche no, you're right. Sorry, Blanche I was thinking. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. No, she's I'm the not best be character Dorothy, on the show. Her joyless Dorothy, that's, yeah. that's who I thought mom. we were talking about. <laughs> Dorothy's the worst. The mom Dorothy, is, is second. The mom's hilarious. She's so hilarious. Just mean. I love her. Um, um, and Rose you know, is Rose stupid. is. Rose is just stupid in a way that's funny. There, I saw an outtake though where they did a. Uh, 
uh, Rose talking about a story at the table and the other two couldn't keep a straight face. She just kept going with more extreme wild stuff and they just could not hold it in the entire time. I Great show. I love that. It shit. is. Yeah. Excellent that- writing. I wouldn't mind being Zach Morris. You know, oh, just hijinks. Are you a little you stressful? But it's school, though. Yeah. Is this the like school being part? high school, you're, yeah. Being high yeah, school. Yeah, but he didn't forever. do any work. He got he, he, work. Had, yeah. he had high he school kind of locked down. He went to college, you know, for doing the extended mm-hmm. universe. I was, th- I mean, this one's, this one's bad shit. Frank Reynolds, always sunny. <laughs> Frank. That's I'll crazy. be Barbara. Yeah. Too much, too much cat food. She doesn't have to do anything. I just want to be rich and lazy. <laughs> you don't want to play Nightcrawlers with me? Why don't you want to play Nightcrawlers with me anymore, Zach? <laughs> Charlie would be the craziest fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, you're literally killing rats and huffing paint and glue. And I don't yeah. that's that's a no, but I mean, yeah. it, in Sunny, I think it would have to be Frank because at least he's like doing those things by choice. Hmm. He's not forced I to. think it would have to be Dennis. Oh, I mean, man. Like, he's a Frank. psychopath, but he's, yeah, he has the lifestyle most better. normal exist. Yeah, more normal lifestyle, you know? I don't think, Maze, you could handle that height difference. But going from you to being <laughs> Frank. <laughs> well, that's the that's thing. Not Are you? Emotion. Do you turn into that person or do you just replace them? No, you turn into that person. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, or alien. (laughs) But can't you imagine me cutting myself out of a a leather couch that I've been hiding in? Oh, my God. (laughs) Your size? So upsetting. (laughs) The biggest couch. That moment still terrifies me. Like, it is so scary. I love hearing them talk about. Like the stuff that they've thrown at, at yeah. Danny DeVito, he's just like down for yeah. all of it. He's like, let's do it. Yeah, I'm in. Zach, if you were Alf, also you'd be a uh, shirt, no pants for the rest of your life. Fantastic. He'd yeah. be happy well, you didn't really you just, you didn't you wear just a shirt all that often either. Didn't he have a shirt? Didn't he have a like Some, a Hawaiian shirt? Sometimes, sometimes, but not all the time. But yeah, Wait, I yeah, thought I'm he wore a that. jacket or something. Oh what? yeah, maybe like, like that aviator jacket. jacket. Yeah. yeah, sometimes. I had an Alf doll actually when i was a kid that's creepy yeah i know <laughs> i also had a mcgruff the crime dog puppet puppet they really wanted yeah, us to be narcs yeah they tried so hard to raise us to be narcs yeah. Yeah. and like oh yeah i'm gonna prevent a forest fire no i'm setting isn't that isn't that right no, that's that's smoky the bear i know but he can go fuck uh, himself yo he got jacked actually he they got real his- jacked there's a yeah. fucking bus stop ad for smoky down on Ventura over here, and like he's they made him hot. Oh my yeah, God. he's oh. a sexy bear now. Like, well, as calm down, to- Katie. I wouldn't say hot. He's just jacked. Like well, he's smoky. Yeah, I have something he's upsetting to show. say. Oh boy! <laughs> my dad sent me a picture of my grandparents when they were like younger, and my grandpa was hot. <laughs> I was wow. like, wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, I'm, 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 over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here trying to find hot pictures of Smokey the Bear, and then Katie <laughs> drops that on me. I mean, don't worry, I'll send a picture to the chat and see what you guys think. Uh, if my grandpa can get it or not. <laughs> oh boy, there's a there's a brand new sentence. Uh, <laughs> Yay or nay? <laughs> would you hit this? Oh I'm scared. And I mean, honestly, my grandma's not, not seeing, that cute. I'm not seeing <laughs> Jack oh Smokey the Bear. Yeah, Smokey got hot. I'm not. Wait, I don't oh, know. Wait, oh, here I was we like, go. Zach, Zach, you have to take a picture and send it to us next no, time. I think I've taken a picture before. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like their coats. Okay, now yeah, I found my grandma, myself. Yeah, my uh, grandma's not great, but uh, my grandpa, all right. <laughs> oh, Katie. Katie. <laughs> Jesus, man. Your grandma kind of looks is, like Britney Snow. No, that's not it. This is fan art of Smokey the Bear. No. Yeah. I'm wow. Gonna, wow. I'm going to no, no, no. find it. Oh, fan no. art, take... Smokey. There's I, fan I missed art. a fan art because I was looking at Katie's grandparents. And what do you, would you guys hit it? You know, okay. your grandpa's handsome. I don't have much else to say. You, you, but your grandma's not the way you described your grandma. I think's worse. Uh, your grandma's fine too. 
So you'd hit it, you'd hit it with her grandma too? Yeah, Mo's down oh, with I, with it all. A menage. I mean, so, so like you at Eiffel Tower, yeah. my grandma with my grandpa? Oh my yeah. God. Can everybody oh relax. Lord, Lord. She, does, she does not know the meaning of relax. That's true. Look no relax on this mailbag. <laughs> Okay, I mean, wait, hold on. Like, sure. there are wow. That's think, well, okay. I don't. I don't think you're being nice to your grandma, though. Yeah, well, I just right? think like, that she. I mean, she's not ugly, but it's like he's, you know, he's what the Katie settler. Is she's the is, reacher. Is, is like she is her grandpa is a smoke show, but her grandma yeah. is like definitively mid. Is what she's saying. Mm. Yeah, thank That's you. Tough. Thank That's you. a tough look for grandma, man. Mm. This her coat so, was a good one. I will say, I'll give her that. I like her coat. I would wear that. Um, I can't find the Smokey the Bear uh, signs that they've been like. Well, Wait, Emily, this- are they are they by you too? Is that what you were? You've well, seen them. I've been also? doing a lot of national okay. parking in this last year, and so that's when I noticed it because he's always like on signs near the national parks. Okay, so and not be- locally though is what. No, <laughs> no, not locally. But I did, I did find a fan art one that I just sent you guys, which is ridiculous. There's and a, that an guy, article, that this an is based off of Smokey the Bear gets so hot. <laughs> oh my god! Headline. Here, all right. That's, I found a, a balloon kind of a from flipper. the Macy's Day Parade. Okay, and it says viewers were left choking on their turkey when the sexy Whoa. Smokey Bear balloon floated through the city. Look at those I mean, <laughs> I mean, but if you look at what he looked like before, there is a marked difference in mm-hmm. Smokey's uh, real glow build. up. Because he <sighs> used to look kind of dopey, right? Like, yeah, kind of like just like this goofy looking bear, and no one took him he- seriously, and that's why we still have all of these uh, forest fires going on in California. That's why he can't prevent Smokey them. The bear was Only too you cute can. and too dopey looking. I refuse. Yeah. You refuse to prevent forest fires. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's not for no free. <laughs> <laughs> not You're for free. Uh-uh. Katie's holding a match. How much you got? I'm gonna I do can't it. Find it. I'll, I'll go take a picture later today. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate. Thank yeah. you for your service. Yeah. I know I've taken a picture of before, though. I just can't. Did you do it. search? Did you try to search for it? I search. Yeah, I searched oh, okay. on the street, and it. It's just not in those, that batch of pictures. Oh, you search by location. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Why don't you ask your little AI friend? Just search bear. You didn't search bear in your photos? I, did. I feel it like it's hit or miss. Yo, I like feel like I tried to, like the the ser- photo search, it's like sometimes it'll show you stuff, but like it, it's not as good as it uh, should be, I feel. Yeah, I'll tell totally you what bad. it always shows you. It always shows you pictures of your exes that you thought you deleted. <laughs> Oh, I will say what it always shows me is is pictures of me from when I was skinny. And I'm just like, can you stop mm. showing me pictures from like when I was at like the height of like skinniness? I mean, I was too skinny, but whatever. You know, body dysmorphia. So. <laughs> when did Smokey get so hot? Yeah. I told you. Yeah. I, I feel told like, you. I, now, I feel like, I've I feel like two things are happening here. One, I've the conversation around Smokey's glow up has been going on for at least a decade. Two, I don't think that the hype is warranted because he's whoa, he's not <laughs> like he's not jacked. He doesn't have like an eight pack. He's not flexing. He's not yeah, like trying to be a jacked. bear model. I, he's just, I just it's more criticizing old Smokey. Oh, I thought you were saying that because there's clearly still forest fires issues happening. <laughs> He well, got jacked because he had to is, fight more forest fires. That is why. definitely true. Smokey has been working too much on his body and not enough on. He needs to get back to fire prevention. Forest yeah. fires. No, I go. I'm going to go the other way. I, he saw all these fires coming and has now gone into a rocky sort of training montage instance well, yeah. before the big fight and getting ready for the to battle all of these upcoming fires because you know climate change. Oh no! So you're saying there's more a lot coming. Of big ones. <laughs> they ain't ever stopping eating. I'm sorry. I know. I just got affected by it for the first time last year. So I'm like, now I know what it feels like to not be able to go outside because of smoke. I didn't find. Not a great experience. Picture, don't recommend. But I did find this one that I just sent. That's a great. That's a great picture. I do kind of like when it just smells like a bonfire outside, though. 
Oh, I love yeah, that. Yeah, Katie, nice I smell, know. Yeah. Like, it's, it is kind I'm of... Like, I shouldn't enjoy this. Uh, yeah, I, do. I know. <laughs> Zach, that's a picture of Boogie. <laughs> okay okay all right I'm look, that's look a great at, picture look a great at picture, smokey though. in 1952 okay this is our man is not real tub tub yeah but he didn't have to worry too much about the forest fires the way he does now like that back then he smokey could was never more prevalent than 1952 that's true Prove it. <laughs> fucking right. people flicking cigarettes, cigarettes everywhere yeah <laughs> Yeah, now we got a we got a real bear looking at Smokey. Aww. And this is a weirder angle on, on my Smokey real that that poster. <laughs> now he's taller and skinnier all of a sudden, and he's with Lassie crossover. <laughs> oh God, get over yourself, Lassie. Oh and boy. And then there he is and with the seventy fifth birthday cake. Kind of, he's kind of like, cosmetic work. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. he's got the yeah. taffer yeah, makeup. Got, <laughs> oh, he got an eyelid. He got an eyelid for sure. Someone got them th- threads. Wait, mm-hmm. you, you so <laughs> I don't I don't know Zach. The the one that you just sent, he's way too scary and muscular. There, I don't know if that's, that's sexy. That's the one Sick. I sent. The one, Smoke, yeah. <laughs> Smokey oh, the Bear. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. Yeah, Smokey like the Bear is that's, actually that's working in the Rocky body ready to go take on Ifon Drago. Like this is the <laughs> this is what he's doing. Smokey the Bear is actually the- working on a line of canned mezcal cocktails that'll be coming <laughs> out <laughs> later this fall. <laughs> this I mean, now if this was the Smokey that we were talking about, Maze would be in. He's not playing anywhere. I'm sorry. He's not, that's not fighting fires. That buddy's not fighting fires. He's too ripped. No. He forgot He's got leg day. Too much though. roid rage. He did skip leg day. He's a little top heavy, so hope the fire doesn't come for his knees. Mall picnickers. The one from Instagram, he's got a real bulge in his pants that's a little bit awkward. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. What? Go ahead, zoom in, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> god damn! Oh, that is so five weird. dudes! Oh my god! Five dicks! Damn! That's just that's a prominent sack. That's what that is. It's it looks like a damn fupa. <laughs> All right. It's amazing yep, where this podcast I think, goes. <laughs> I think we pretty much covered that. You know, only you can prevent fupa and forest fires. Hot smoky the bear. I wish I could prevent this fupa. Fuck. <laughs> Because <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> thanks, Grandpa. Yeah, Bird. thanks, Grandma. I got your fupa. <laughs> For Emily, Eden, also a brand new sentence. Zach Harper, <laughs> Mo, Katie. I'm Anthony Mays, and we'll catch you next time on the Mailbag.